All righty, so we have two, four, and negative three, negative one. We have to find the equation of the line that passes through the pair of points and write the answer in slope intercept form. So we have to, our answer needs to look like this, y equals mx plus b. So that's what our answer needs to look like. Now, what that means is if we find m and we find b, then we'll have our answer. Uh, and we can just plug them in into the equation there. Now, um, let's move this up a bit. Uh, there, all right. So, so we're going to find M, and then we're going to find B. If we find M and we find B, we can plug them into the equation and we'll have our answer. And so the first step is to find M. We've got to remember our slope formula. M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. The difference between the Y's over the difference between the X's. And I encourage you all to write it like this. Parenthesis minus parenthesis over parenthesis minus parenthesis. And that will help you not make a mistake with your negative numbers. So any questions with the setup? Is that okay? That's good. So where do the X and Y ones and all that come from? Well, this is the first point X1, Y1. This is the second point X2, Y2. Difference between the Ys, we start with this Y, negative 1, and we subtract this Y, 4. Start with this X, negative 3, subtract the first X, 2. And so on the top, we have negative 1 minus 4, and on the bottom, we should have negative 3 minus 2. So negative 1 minus 4. I'm in debt by a dollar. I spend a dollar, and now I'm in debt by $5. Or you can change subtract to blam blam plus negative. Now it says negative 1 plus negative 4, one bad guy plus four bad guys, five bad guys. And on the bottom, negative 3 minus 2, I'm in debt by $3. I subtract $2. Now I'm in debt by $5. Or I can change subtraction to blam blam plus negative. Negative 3 plus negative 2. Three bad guys and two bad guys, five bad guys. So I have negative 5 over negative 5. That's a negative over negative, positive 5 over 5, 1. So my slope, M, should be positive 1. And straight away, we can actually put that into the answer. y equals 1x plus something. We found the m. Now we have to find the b. Well, we've got the m. That was actually the hardest part. Now we just find the b, and then we're done. Um, so b, y equals mx plus b. We'll take an x and a y value, and we'll take the m and then we'll find B. Now the M is 1, so put that in there. And then take either of these points, 2, 4, or negative 3, negative 1, and plug them in here. But just plug in one of them. So like Y is 4, I'm going to do, and I'm going to do X is 2. But you could also plug in Y is negative 1 and X is negative 3, and you would still get the same value for B. So we get 4 equals 2 plus b, and get b in its own, subtract 2 from both sides. 2, so 4 minus 2 is 2, so 2 equals b. So we found m, m was 1, and then we found b, b is 2. And we take those values and plug them into our answer. Y equals 1x plus 2. Are we okay with that? Yes. Bit of a mess, isn't it? Y equals x plus 2, and that's the equation. And again, I just can't help but graphing this, because if you guys, especially if you're doing a test, you want to check this, right? Plot, plot these points on the graph paper. X is 2. Y is 4. That's that point there, 2, 4. X is negative 3, Y is negative 1, that's that point there. 
draw a line through them. And you'll see that the line cuts through the y-axis at two. And you'll see that the slope is you're going over one, up one, over one, up one, over, up one, over one, up one, over and up one. So the rise over the run, the slope, is we're going over one and up one, over one, up one. My run is one, my rise is one, the slope is one. And so if the slope is one, the y intercept is two, so that's your b, and your, your m is one, that means your equation is y equals one x plus two which is what we found with algebra, right? Now, does that make sense, that graph there? Yes, do you want it written 1x plus 2 or just x plus 2? Either way, you'll get the point, same thing. But yeah, x plus 2 would be even more uh, neater, wouldn't it? x plus 2, yeah. But okay. if, on the test, I, I'd like to be, it's the same thing, it's correct. So I'll give the points, yeah, for sure. Yep, and so as we see graphing it, makes more sense.